Hello, today we're going to demonstrate how to wrap a uh, breacher bar. And Today we're going to do a little different weave. This is called a, um, a, a basket weave is what we call it. And it looks, uh, looks impressive. It's not really hard to do. And uh, some mystery involved in, in uh, wrapping these cords but, uh, or the bars, but uh, not real hard. So start off with, uh, I always start off with about 12 feet because I never know what I'm going to weave. Uh, some people start off with 6 feet, but I, I always use 12 feet and you can't, you can't go wrong because depending on what you're going to wrap and how long you're going to wrap it, uh, you don't want to come up short. So to start off, we burn both ends of the paracord, keep them nice and uh, um, together so it's not being frayed. And we start off on, there's two holes here up towards the top. We start off through the the lower one here, we come up through the bottom and we pull ourselves through the hole here, uh, second from the from the top, there's two holes here and I like to leave about uh, eight, ten inches probably hanging off them depending on what I'm going to do. And the weave is a really, really simple. The thing is to try and keep everything tight and straight as you're weaving. And so I'm pulling this, I'm lining this up and I'm going to do three loops around and I'm going to just show you the basic weave. This is three going around and then you say how do you get that weave? Well that's real simple. We come up we lift the center cord up and I am going to bring my end if I can grab my end here there we go through here And that gives me a step. Some people actually, you can actually do two times through here if you'd like. Let's, let's do it again just for, for kicks. Maybe this will uh, inspire some people to try some different weaves. There's a million of these. I think this is endless. So I'm going to do two at the bottom. And again, keep everything nice and tight. You can spray it down with hairspray when you're done. Or some people do it wet uh, and then, and then uh, dry it and it shrinks. Now I'm going back over the top, if you notice. And the trick is to keep this center line straight. And uh, I always keep my finger over here to keep it tight. And I'm going to do three more over the top. So I guess you call this a three and two. So that's why I always use extra cord, because you never know what you're going to do. And again, you can line this line up. You can move it back and forth a little bit. So now we're going to do two back under again. And here we go. There's one. And we're going to come up again. And there's two. So, and we're going to go back over the top again. Back over the top three times. Keep it consistent, guys, and it'll make a nice gift, or people will be impressed and say, how'd you do that? And there's two, and there's three. And then, lift this up again. You always give yourself some room. Go back under two times. So if you can't count past five, you're probably going to have a problem doing this. But it's just three and two. So we're going to go back here again for my second time under. And again, keeping everything in line. And we're going to pull that back down. You can kind of see how it's looking. There we go. Now we're going to go back again over the top. And I'm probably going to want to lift this up now a little bit. Here's a tweezer here. Come, because we're coming to the end of the termination point. So we've got to do one more time. There's our third one here. Okay, there we go. So now, I'm wondering, okay, what do we do now at the end? I got three, three loops, and now I need to terminate that. Well, this one's coming out the bottom. This is our original one. So I'm going to come back out the opposing side, bring that down, bring this back up. So now, if you look, I have one on one side. One on the other side. Gives you a nice look. And uh, you can keep this nice and straight. The other thing is, uh, this last hole, guys like to 
use it to make a lanyard. I bring one on one side, again, one on the other side, and that's that. Now if you really want to be a little tricky, you can put a barrel knot here. What is a barrel knot? Well, a barrel knot, here, let's see if I can do it on, on video here. Barrel knot, you can consist, it's basically a hangman's noose. Come over the top, it's pretty clean. Do it. You can do it three times. You can do it 13 times if you want. I'm making this look easy, but um, barrel knots are not hard to do. They just give it a nice look. And, and it looks like a barrel when you're all finished. So, here we go. So now, if I had a cord end, which will have uh, put a cord tip on it, and there's a barrel knot. That looks kind of cool. I like to um, cut this with a surgical preparation razor and then burn the end. Sometimes we can put an uh, orange cord tip or a black cord tip. Here I'm using a surgical prep razor. You can leave it, you can leave it like this and then just burn the end. Um, I use this little torch here. Um, that works real good. Be careful when you do that. Um, I like to leave it like this. Some guys like to put the cord tips uh, on, uh, and if you do that, it gives you, you can get these in different colors. They come in orange and black, and then these have little barbs in here, and basically close it up, and that's it. Give it a good tot, and that, that's your breacher bar with a basket weave. So thanks for watching, and see, we'll come out with another one uh, shortly. Um, thanks for watching again, and uh, be careful doing this. It's not hard. It'll make a nice gift.